And now, your first alert weather. We still have some pockets of wet weather for tonight. A little rain right now at the Farm Bureau Skycam in Pocatello, and we were seeing some light snow and rain overnight early this morning, uh, but mostly just rain for the Snake River Plain as expected with some snow in the higher elevations. But Idaho Falls, we were walking that line. We were real close to seeing the snow. If it dropped another degree or two, we could have been looking at some accumulating snow. It's been, uh, again, a typical fall system here where you're getting some good snow in the mountains, but we could do better. I mean, these storms haven't been producing a lot of moisture, so we have a long way to go before we start opening up those ski resorts all the way. Uh, taking a live look again in Pocatello at the Farm Bureau Sky Cam, we got temperatures into the 40s with some cloud cover, and those winds still coming pretty strong out of the south into the teens. Idaho Falls. We got numbers right now at 43 degrees. We've seen a little clearing this afternoon. Some clouds still hanging over the airport with winds at 16 miles per hour out of the south southwest. And over to Henry's Lake, the webcam here in north end of Island Park, looking along Highway 20. It's still snowing at places there along Highway 20 through Island Park. Also seeing some snow up on Teton Pass, Pine Creek Pass, and then up towards Monida. But we are looking at passable roads here. So good news, the snow hasn't slowed you too much on Highway 20. Just a few slick spots out there just to be a little careful tonight if you're driving in that direction. Viper showing us a few leftover showers this evening, continuing in through tomorrow morning. You'll notice that things are, for the most part, looking quiet in the Snake River Plain, with the exception being some rain around Pocatello, Chubbuck, and out to the west there, a little bit closer towards American Falls. Some light snow still with us back around the Wyoming state line, and we'll still have a few pockets of wet weather in the wake of today's system for tomorrow. And also, with the dropping temperatures and lighter winds, I'm expecting tomorrow morning there's a possibility of some low cloud cover and fog. This low is going to be heading off to our east over the weekend, high pressure building back in behind it, which will pull in some sunshine and slightly warmer temps for Sunday morning, but I want to stress only slightly warmer temps. Here's a look at that Viper cast. So again, drier conditions, but cold temperatures in the wake of the system for today and Saturday. We'll have a few lingering snow showers in our local mountains and then high pressure pushes back in for Sunday and Monday, but wrapping around this ridge of high pressure, some cold air. Not a lot of wet weather expected for next week, but cold air is going to be a good possibility here. It's going to get pretty chilly around here, especially heading into Wednesday and Thursday, Thanksgiving Day of next week. We'll talk about that a little bit later in your eight day forecast. First back tonight through on the Viper. We're looking at some snow and some rain passing through the region tomorrow morning. There is a touch of wet weather still hanging around areas of the Snake River Plain and that low cloud cover and fog. Drier conditions by tomorrow afternoon, and it's going to be sunny for Sunday with temperatures trying to warm back up. Snowfall amounts tonight. If we do see anything out of that low cloud cover and fog, it looks to be very low. And then we are picking up some rain mixing in with the snow tonight and tomorrow. And that again, clearing out by Saturday afternoon. 36 for the high tomorrow, Montpelier, with highs around 34. You'll have a hot springs, highs of 40 for Preston, with lows tonight back into the 20s and 30s. We've got 25 tonight in Island Park. High just above freezing there tomorrow, 34, 36 in Swan Valley and 36 and 37 in around Rexburg and St. Anthony. Upper 30s for Mackey and Arco with 40 degrees in Chouse, 37 in Stanley. And throughout the Snake River Plain, temperatures pretty much the same as you go from city to city. And it's that great equalizer, the cold front that came through earlier today. Here's a look at the Rexburg 8-day forecast. Temperatures hanging out to the upper 30s for Saturday. And we're looking at temperatures about the same for Sunday. We'll see a little more sunshine getting in here for Sunday afternoon heading into Monday. A storm system will set up on Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures right around freezing for Thursday in Rexburg. Blackfoot a high of 40 degrees for Sunday, mid 40s on Monday. Slight chance of some wet weather on Tuesday, but the big story here isn't the wet weather on Tuesday. It's the cold air and we'll have highs into the mid 30s for the holiday. Taking a look at the salmon. Temperatures not as cold as the Snake River Plain, but still getting pretty chilly. 48 for the high on Sunday, 34 for the high on Monday, but back up into the upper 30s, lower 40s for Wednesday and Thursday. Take a look at Jackson. We'll have a chance of snow for Saturday and also getting in some snowy weather for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. There is a chance for some mountain snow the day before Thanksgiving, but at this point it looks like it's mostly a mountain event on Wednesday. Here's a look at Pocatello, 38 degrees for tomorrow, 43 on Sunday with highs into the mid to upper 40s to round out your Monday and Tuesday afternoon. Cold front comes in, dropping those highs back in the 30s for Wednesday and Thursday. Idaho Falls, 38 degrees tomorrow. Again, a chance for some fog and low cloud cover in the morning and a bit of some precip coming along for the ride, but drier conditions tomorrow afternoon through Sunday with some sunshine on Sunday and highs into the low to mid 40s on Monday 
dropping down to the mid-30s for Wednesday and Thursday. Our John Adams, Spirit of Idaho, coming to us here from Dennis.